Right, I'm just going to do a very brief little video here. This is over Whirl, near Whirl Golf Club. And um, I used to bring Louis for a long walk on a circular, going around the golf club and through the wood over there. I'll do that bit on the way back after being to the church. I just thought I'd like to do a little tiny commentary. This is going back to 2006 when we came back to February 2007 was our last walk I did with Louis. It was be down here. Our very last walk together. Um, so, so it's got beautiful views. Over there you've got Sand Bay over and I can see Cardiff really clearly. Over there. And this bungalow here was derelict for ages. It's all been done up now. I think there was a car in the drive that had been there for six the whole time we'd been there. And I just wondered, I thought, wonder if someone died inside there. Toplands, it's called. And then we go down a little track, it's a bridle path. But of course, the only problem with this particular walk is um, the risk of golf balls hitting you. Although on <clears throat> towards my right there is a big 20 foot fence because obviously the balls do come over. Yeah, that's the horses. Yeah, the thing is this is part of my Somerset Church project and he, <clears throat> because these are within range of my home. It's a nice day. I, I thought I'd come out and walk. This is the sort of thing I might do now and again, this particular walk, but not very often. I think it's a couple of years now since I've been down here. Um, maybe three years ago I came down here. It's just gone too fast the time. 2006 seems sometimes just like last week. Other times it feels like 10 years ago, 20 years ago. In fact, this time, Five years ago, Zara and I had moved into Ruhama in, in Suffolk, near Little Well, in Little Well, Neatham, near Bury St Edmunds. Yeah, exactly four years ago, we went on a, a retreat, I call it, <laughs> recovery period after losing everything. Six months of pleasure, being able to do my family tree in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I wonder what all that is down there, that looks new. It might be a new walk. Just divert a minute. That there is the golf course where I usually walk around with Louis. It looks to me as if they've done up a bit of a path. There might be a view down here. Yeah, in fact, Sam Bay is coming into view down here. So this has all been done. You can see that the path ahead of me has all been... Um, of course, it might all be golf course, of course. They pay for stuff, don't they, to be done. There used to be a little hut down here, actually. <clears throat> I don't rent, I'll be able to walk along there. They might have changed direction where they hit now. Yeah, there used to be a little hut here. Of course, all the men used to pee and it used to stink. But it was like shelter from the rain. Yeah, and Louis and I used to walk all in and out of those woods there. It's a shame that there's a 
one group of blokes. Yeah, I don't know whether they've just hit from that flag. They might all be hitting off, but even so, it always takes a long. That's, uh, I mean, this looks like it's going to be a green, doesn't it? This bit here. So they normally hit up along there, and then... Yeah, this is where the hut was, where I'm walking now. It's just stopping here and have a fag. Oh yeah. Yeah, we used to walk all through them woods there. It was a nice place to take a view. I never had a video camera when I was last here, you see. So that's a nice picture of Sam Bay over there, isn't it? You might go back a bit, might see the Priory back this way. Yeah, I can just about see the Priory, one minute. Yeah, the Priory's just about behind that tree. It's a different view from here to see it like this. Well, I'm going to turn off now because I'm going to, I need to keep some for the church. God, I can even see Cardiff from here. White buildings in the distance. Look at the Millennium Stadium's close by. It's really clear today, and there's Sand Bay Beach down there, where I walk up when I come out of the wood. I walk up there, and I <coughs> I walk all the way along, and then I climb up onto Sand Point. Walk along there and I walk round the back and over round. It looks, doesn't look very much, but it's quite a, it's a several hour walk. Just, just going round that bit. <clears throat> beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And this is the place where I walk my Louis on quiet evenings. It's always dodgy in the day, lots of golfers about. <clears throat> right, over and out. Spring is in the air and it makes me sneeze. <coughs> it does. I didn't I run out of hay fever pills and everything. I can't afford to buy any. I'm gonna have to though. It's like a priority really. Otherwise I sneeze constantly in my nose streams. It's bad. You see, you see I get it. I get it off and on in the winter, but that's more like allergies to dust, perfume, people. Um, and then um, I get it in the, in the summer with the pollen. And already I can, I know I've had a couple of fags lately. I do now and again. So it will make a, it will affect me, but um, I always notice as soon as the pollen's out, I start getting a tight chest. Now, if you look here, we've got um, a way down. You can follow that track all the way down and come out near the church of um, Kewstoke. If you follow that track down there, if you go across, over that way you can go along a little path which divides the two parts of the golf course but I always think it's really dangerous going there during the daytime I mean fortunately there might have been a lot of golfers gone out at six in the morning right 
and um, so I can see gophers ahead so I'm going to have to slow up in a minute they come out at 6 in the morning some of them and then as soon as it's light and uh, <coughs> they're all in the bar by lunchtime like Lockwood and then you'll get another batch come out it'll start again in the afternoon <coughs> you'll get another big batch come out sort of half one, two, three lunchtime periods but of course you know it's only because I know my way around this golf course I, I know which way they're hitting but there is a bunch if there's four blokes each one's got a hit and then they might miss it might take some of them 15 times to get it down a hole because they're so crap so you know everyone has to take their turn and then you know they've all got to hit it and then they have to have a chat and they stand around chatting about it and you know no I, d I don't like golf I used to be a golf ball hunter it was came an obsession I was glad when I left Barrow really plus there's the risk now of um, getting ticks it's tick time usually in long grass and but you bet your life I'll get bitten today uh, it could be a tick but hopefully not hopefully not but we are a very ticky county Somerset is so there's a lot of deer about and uh it's just something we suffer with. I wonder how far up those blokes are because uh, I might have to deviate and go into the wood behind them while they're finishing the last hole. Something I can do when I've got time. There's nobody coming up behind because I have nearly been trapped between two sets of golfers once. One was slow at the front and the others were coming up quick. So that was a bit dodgy. Now I don't know if this will come out but through the trees which aren't yet in bloom You've got more images of Sand Bay, Sand Point. Um, <clears throat> I can just make out, which won't come out on here, but I can just make out St Augustine's Priory, which is right in front of me at the end of my finger, but I doubt if it'll come out. So I'm just going to, I'm going there, but I'm not actually physically there. I'm viewing it from a further and further away. But in one way, I'm still there. I can imagine myself walking around it without any trouble whatsoever. Right, now the, now the problem we've got now is... Um, we sometimes get people creeping through there to start hitting. There's no sign of anyone coming up behind. And, I mean, in theory, they should at least be near the next green. That's the plan. But of course, if they lose a golf ball, they'll be off looking for that for half an hour. Some of them would, you know, will want to go and look. Or, or the, like, look, he used to be a golf ball hunter. He used to do a lot of golf ball hunting rather than playing golf. He had an obsession with it. Yeah, me and Louis explored all these different... This is all part of um, the fort, by the way. This is still part of the ancient Iron Age fort. I mean, just because there's a few houses and a golf course now dividing it. But this is actually the back end, or I would call this the back end of the fort. There's lots of um, proof and bits and pieces around to, to um, illustrate that. And what I'm going to do is just to deviate out so I'm not, because they don't like, oh, they don't like you on their golf course, you know. Now I've had some encounters with golfers before now who, who get quite nasty, quite nasty, when they see you walking on their golf course. I've even, I've even had, when I've been on a public football path, actually had them firing their golf balls at me. I picked one up once and threw it back at him. I picked another one up another time and kept it and said he won't have it. And he said, but it's a championship ball. I said, bloody hard luck, mate. You ain't having this. You've tr you tried to hit me with this. 
We kept it. We probably gave it to Duncan or somebody. Yeah, don't look like these places are walked very often now. Um, yeah, they should be on the last hole. And this is all, for me, this is uh, going back in time with Louis. And we were talking about, it'll be five years, four and a half years ago when Louis and I used to do this, you see. And a lot of it's overgrown now. Look, I've come to a bit of a dead end now. Here. Yeah. But this used to be our... I mean, Louis would be in and out. I can remember climbing over these branches before in the past. Now that could be somebody coming out to hit now, over there. And what we do is just while they're hitting, we're just going to wait under there, under here, look. Let me just see if I can get through this way a minute. I can remember getting through here in the past. Walking around the back way with Louie. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute. 